All right, so in this video, we are going to evaluate the following integral. The integral of sine to the seventh of x. So how do you suppose we evaluate an integral like this? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to drop the power of 7 to a power of 6. That leaves us with a sine to the 6 of x, but we still have to multiply a sine x onto that, so that when we multiply these two, it's still equivalent to what we have originally. Okay, so then why do we have this written like this? Well, realize that sine to the 6 of x is really just sine squared of x to the power of 3. And we also know that sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared of x. And so now that we have this, it's really convenient if we do a u substitution. We could set u equal to the cosine of x. And as a result, du is the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine. And of course, we're going to need a dx. If we divide negative 1 on both sides, that'll move the minus sign to the other side. And so this is what we're going to use to convert our integral completely in terms of u. We're going to replace the cosine of x with u and the sine x dx with a negative du. And so this is what our integral becomes. Now, we can pull the minus sign to the front of the integral. And so this is the integral that we have to evaluate. Well, what we can do first is we can just expand this out. We would get this. And now, all we have to do to evaluate this integral is use the reverse power rule. And if we do that, we will get this. And so now, we can distribute the minus sign across. We would get this. And now all we really have to do is replace the u back with cosine of x. And so this would be your final answer. This right here would be the integral of sine to the seventh of x dx. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.